Why does Rip look so f***ing high? His eyes are always glazed over. <laughs> yeah, he's higher than a giraffe's pussy. <laughs> that joker's baked. Baked like cheese. Guys, if I was high, I'd be floating. So I reviewed the version 1, did not review the version 2, but I am going to review this version 3. Yes, yes, boys and girls, this is the Turbo version 3. And I'll tell you what, the Turbo version 1, like I said, was gimmicky, but it did cool the vapor. This, it's a little bit different. It's got that flip top cap, which I'm a big fan of. You flip it like that, flip it, and then you drip it. And then when you're done, you just pop it back on, and it seals in. It's got that O-ring in there. You'll see in the close-ups, but yeah, it's sealed in, as you guys can see. So yeah, that's a cool feature, but the second feature is the turbine. It's got a fan just like the version 1. You got a fan up top, but with this one, the fan is smaller. The turbine is smaller, and you could take this thing out, and it vapes just like a regular RDA. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and vapor with the turbine in here, and then I'm going to pull the turbine out, and I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Is there more vapor? I'm going to tell you if it's cooler or not. All that good stuff. So right now I got the turbine in here got the airflow about three quarters of the way open on both sides because this is a dual coil Addy and the build I have in here is a dual coil build using Nichrome N80 it's a reading at 0.22 and I'm vaping at 50 watts <laughs> so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this turbine out and vapor to see if you guys see a difference Pop the drip tip off, and then all we got to do is flip her just like so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna push her out the top See that? Oh, there she goes. Give her a good juicing. Pop her back on there, drip tip back on, and we're rocking and rolling. Same thing as the first time I hit it with the turbine in there. I got the airflow three quarters of the way open on each side. Here we go. I don't know, you guys be the judge. Honestly, without it, it looks like from what I saw, you get more vapor production. So there's two things I do notice with the turbine in this device, okay? One, there's no spit back. And two, the vape is slightly cooler. Slightly, it's not that big of a difference, but it's noticeable. Oh yeah, and also there is a third one and that is sound. This thing sounds like a kazoo. <laughs> First things first, we got to go over the cons, okay? One, this thing leaks from the hinge. The hinge top cap, every time I go to open the sucker up, close her off, juice, it just builds up in there. It starts to just accumulate over time on the outside, the top outside of the RDA. That's definitely got to be a con. And the second con, the deck, you'll see it in the close-ups, but it's got a three-post sign. Go figure. And it's got a positive post block. Go figure. But that's not my gripe. My gripe is, is it uses Phillips head screws, and you tighten those down to make a connection. But the problem is, is those screws back out, and they back out like a mofo. The connection is is just it sucks it sucks they need to use grub nuts grub screws it makes a better connection that way or just use something totally innovative i'd like that third my kit did not come with a standard 510 drip tip adapter so i've not been able to use my standard 510 drip tip so if you're the type of vapor you love to use your standard 510 drip tips you're not going to be able to do so but i will state this it comes with a nice wide board delmer drip tip also when i received this sucker it was dirty man i put a dual coil build in there i wanted to vape it machine oil was in the positive post it was in the negative post i had to clean it like three or four times just to get that shit out. I hate that. Hate it! Clean your shit! Tobacco! So before I go over those pros, I'm gonna take you guys down up close so you can see this thing up close and personal. Then we'll come back and we'll go over all that good stuff and I'll let you know where you can get one. Alrighty, so here's the boxing this Turbo V3 comes in. Slides out like so. Flipper, and then inside we got our Turbo V3 RDA along with some extra goodies. And those goodies include some extra O-rings and some extra screws. All right, so here she is, the Turbo V3 RDA. A few specs for you. She's 22 millimeters in diameter, and she's 36 and a half millimeters in height. So this thing comes in two different options. Black, as you guys can see, and a stainless steel version. Now, with the black one, I'm not really a big fan because everything shows. I mean, the dirt, the grime. It's hard to keep clean. It's hard to keep it looking clean. Let's go ahead and start with the base. It says Turbo by Ohm Nation. That's right, Tobacco and Ohm Nation. They teamed up to make this thing happen, and then you flip it. And it says Tobacco USA Designed V3 2015. So right there you got your 510 threads which are smooth, smooth, smooth. And you also have your silver plated copper 510 pin which is adjustable. Alrighty, adjustable airflow time. You got two massive slots. One on one side, one on the other which sit in parallel. And to adjust that all you do is you just turn it. Close her off, close her off, close her off. And whatever you adjust on one side is going to be the exact same on the other. Close her off all the way if you want. <laughs> open her back up. Open her up, open her up, open her up. Wide open, baby. And that's adjustable airflow for you. So here's the flip top cap. And there's only one other RDA that I know of called the Mad Hatter that has its design. Okay, it came out before this one. But you got that flip top cap. You got a hinge on this side. And all you do is just grab it on this side and boop. 
and you can get in there and you can drip, drip, drip. You got that single O-ring. Now, when this is dry and you pop it on there, you have to make sure you juice it up, okay? If you don't juice it up and you pop it on there without juice, it's not gonna fit. It's gonna keep popping up and keep popping up. So just know that. Put some juice on there and then you should be good to go. Yeah, but that's a top cap. And inside there, you got your turbine, your fan. Now the cool thing is, is you could take the drip tip off this Delrin piece. And this is dual O-ring. And here she is. The wide bore. Well, I consider it a wide bore. Wide bore Delrin drip tip. About a 10 millimeter bore all the way through. Alrighty, so in the top, you got your little turbine fan. And in order to get this sucker out, all you do is you pop it open. And what I do is I take a screwdriver and just pop it out. And there she is, a little turbine fan. So yeah, you could pop this sucker out. There's that catch cup for your turbine fan. But if I wanted to use this without the fan, or if you wanted to use this without the fan, you just take it out and then pop the drip tip back on there. And boom, you're a vaping basically on a regular RDA now. But if you want to pop this turbine fan back in there, all you do is just pop it in there like so. Rocking and rolling. There's the inside of the barrel. So there's your deck section. You got a three post design with a positive post block and your negative posts are milled into the deck. Post holes are nice and big. Uses Phillips head screws to tighten down to make connection with all your leads. And that positive post insulator down there, you see that? That's made of peak. Nice deep juice well. You got your airflow slots on the deck lip on each side. Double O-ring. And I gotta say, the O-rings on the lip are nice and tight. As far as the build quality though, there were a few scratches on the deck as you saw. I'm not really a big fan of the finish. Look at it, everything shows up. It's not the best black finish that I've seen. Machine oil, machine residue, not good. I mean, it was all in the posts. From a 1 to 10 scale, I give it a good 6 out of a 10. So that right there, boys and girls, is the Turbo V3 RDA. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. Now the pros. Even though this device is gimmicky, you could take that turbine fan out and rock it like a regular RDA. And I gotta say, with this .22 ohm build I have in here, using this Nichrome N80. It's, it's chucking the vapor as you guys saw and it's kicking out the flavor. Whether I have the turbine in there or not. You get plenty of airflow at the base as you guys saw in the close-ups and I mean it's easy to adjust. The tolerances are good. Even though this thing does not come with a 510 drip tip adapter, I really do like the wide board Delmer drip tip. It's easy to pop on. It's easy to pop off and I really like that hinge. The top cap hinge, the flip top cap. Even though it leaks a little bit, it's still convenient. Oh yeah and this is a 22 millimeter dripper and it looks great on all my box mods, all my variable voltage, variable wattage devices. Looks the tip it's on all my mechanical mods and also it has a silver plated copper 510 pin at the base and that pin is adjustable. The post holes on the deck are large. I've been able to use 20 gauge, 22 gauge, 24 gauge with ease. Swallows them up. It's got a deep juice well, holds a lot of juice. So the guys that manufacture this sucker, Tobacco, they're the ones that sent to me to review for y'all. So now on to the big question, the big answer of the day. Hey, Rip, if you'd have lost this today, would you go out tomorrow and buy one? And the answer is probably not. With the V1, I said probably not. The V1 worked better than this one as far as keeping the vapor cooler. I noticed that, and I also noticed this. The V1, I don't know if it's because in the V1 the fan was bigger, okay? And I believe the fan was a little bit closer to the coil. But with the V1, it was just at higher wattages and at lower ohm builds like this .2 and the .1, I could get more vapor with ease. And it also kept the vapor cooler than this one. Nah, I wouldn't buy it. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.